In this problem, we're going to find an explicit solution to this initial value problem. So let's go ahead and try to work through it. So we're going to try to separate the variables. That means we want to get all of the x's on one side together with the dx and all of the t's on one side together with the dt. So to do that, we'll start by dividing by x squared plus 1 and multiplying by dt. So that will give us dx over x squared plus 1. And then multiplying by dt will give us 7 dt. So now we're in a position where we can integrate both sides. So I'll go ahead and put the integral symbol here. And I'll go ahead and put it here as well. So the left-hand side uh, is just going to be arctangent of x. This is a hopefully familiar formula. If it's not, it's OK. Uh, it's this. It's 1 over x squared plus a squared dx. And this formula is 1 over a arctangent of x over a plus our constant of integration, capital C. This is a really useful formula. It's worth knowing this formula just for all of math and for your mathematical career. Um, a is 1 in this, so it's just 1 over 1, arctan of x over 1. So it's just arctan. Integrating this, we get 7t plus c. OK, let's go ahead and use our initial condition, which is this. So this means that when x is 1, t is pi over 4. So let's go ahead and plug these things into this equation here and find our value of c. So if we plug in 1 for x, we have arctan of 1. And if we plug in pi over 4 for t, we have 7 times pi over 4, so just 7 pi over 4 plus c. The arctangent of 1 is pi over 4. So this is pi over 4 equals 7 pi over 4 plus c. We can solve for c now by subtracting 7 pi over 4. So you do minus 7 pi over 4 minus 7 pi over 4. So that gives us negative 6 pi over 4 equals c. So c is actually negative 3 pi over 2. I'm going to put this in a box because this took a little bit of work. It's important. OK, we have to find an explicit solution. So let's go ahead and first plug in our c, and then we'll try to do that. So arctan of x is equal to 7t minus 3 pi over 2. And we are almost done. So this next step is a, a common source of confusion for people. So remember that the arctangent function and the tangent function are inverses. So if the arctangent takes x and gives us this, that means the tangent function has to take 7t minus 3 pi over 2 and give you back x. Again, the arctangent takes x and sends it to this. So the tangent function should take this and send it back to x. That's how inverse functions work. It's, a, it's an intuitive operation. They undo each other. And that's the answer. Let me write it this way so it looks a little bit better. So this would be 7t minus 3 pi over 2. And that would be an explicit solution to the differential equation. Take care.